Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I hope you're all doing well or as well as you can be in 2020. It's kicking our ass, guys. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, my name is Haleyel. I haven't... Haleyel? Is that even my name? Haleyel? <laughs> and I have not recorded a video for almost two years now, I think, so I might be a little rusty, so bear with me. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've never done before. Um, I'm doing a product review. Specifically, I'm going to be reviewing um, this bad boy. This is the Braun Silk Expert 5 IPL device. So I figured this would be a helpful review to do because I know a lot of people such as myself, especially in the summer, are looking for alternative modes of hair removal um, and ideally ones that are kind of on the cheaper side but also long lasting. So I thought an IPL video would be a perfect thing to do because during lockdown maybe your salon was closed, maybe you weren't able to get your laser treatments or your waxing or whatever you've done um, and this could be a really good alternative. Um, for future lockdowns. Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about hair removal during the apocalypse and which option is right for you. Or just um, a really good day-to-day -day alternative for your hair removal. So once again, this is the Braun Silk Expert 5 IPL device. It was also marketed as the Gillette Venus Silk Expert and I think it was just a collaboration between the two brands. The only aspect of this that really made it Gillette was the little plastic razor that they also threw in the box. So at the end of the day, it is a Braun product. Now there are a lot of different IPL devices on the market, but the reason I bought the Braun device specifically is because I really wanted to buy one from a well-renowned razor company. At least in my opinion, I would feel a lot safer buying a hair removal device from a company that specializes in hair removal devices. That would really narrow it down to either like the Philips one, I think it's called the Philips Lumia, um, or the Braun devices. So this is not the most recent version. They do have the Braun Silk Expert 5 Pro it's either the expert pro 5 or the expert 5 pro but that one is I think a good a hundred dollars more than this one so that's why I bought this guy and I believe I bought this online for 349 Canadian dollars and I know some of you hearing that are gonna be like whoa that's that's an investment that's expensive especially for something that you don't know 100% if it's gonna work for you, which I totally get. My biggest motivation for deciding to invest in a device like this was because I have tried in salon laser treatments before and I personally didn't see very good results. So I figured if I can buy a device like this for $349 and use it all over my body and see any sort of result, that would be a better investment. Hey guys, this is me coming at you from my editing desk. I just wanna quickly explain something that I feel is very important that I did mention when I was recording this video, but I feel like I can explain it better now. And I also feel like this is very overlooked in a lot of the YouTube reviews I've seen, so I wanted to explain it. Essentially, the way IPL works is that rather than directly targeting the hair follicle, the broadband light that it uses is absorbed by the melanin in the hair follicle. And then this light energy is transformed into heat energy, which effectively damages the hair follicle and prevents hair regrowth. The key word here though is melanin. So if you have really light body hair, because your body hair isn't melanated, an IPL device will not be effective in destroying your hair follicle and it overall just won't really work for you. And then if you have dark skin, because your skin is melanated, the broadband light will not only be absorbed by the hair follicle, but it will also be absorbed by your surrounding skin. And best case scenario, this just means the device won't be that effective, but worst case scenario, you may actually receive burns from the device. So this is one thing I really like about my Braun device is that in the pamphlet, it came with this chart that really shows the ideal skin and hair colors in order for this device to be effective. So as you can see, if you have really light body hair across the board, regardless of your skin tone, the device will not be effective. And similarly, if you have dark skin regardless of your hair color the device will not be effective so just keep this in mind because i have seen some of these instagram ipl brands that have been advertising with models of darker skin 
and they haven't really been mentioning this, which I think is a very important aspect to IPL. So do your research, be safe, because I don't want you guys buying a device that won't be effective for you, or even worse, buying a device that may actually damage your skin. Okay, before I start using it, I just want to acknowledge two things. The first thing is that the instruction manual for the device does suggest wearing sunglasses while using it. Um, my first uses of this thing, I did find it very bright, especially if you're doing it during the evening in like a darker lit room. It is quite bright to the eye. However, I think I've just gotten used to it. And also, as you can see, I'm doing it during the daytime, so it's a lot less strong. Second being, I'm sure some of you are very curious, is this painful? Um, no, well, yes and no. I would say that it is not painful if you're just one overing an area. So you'll see, I'll go over my armpit, that won't be painful. It gets painful when you really focus in on an area. If you've had waxing done, it's nothing compared to waxing, so don't worry about that. All right, so I just plugged it in. It is not a wireless device. You do have to use it plugged in. However, the cord is super long, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, so here is my armpit. All right, and we're just gonna go down the whole area that grows hair. So this button here, you press it once and it will fire once. If you hold it, it will fire continuously after two seconds. So we'll just go one. Now, like I said, it is stubborn in the center. So right in this area here, I'm gonna fire it probably four times. We'll see how much I can take, but this is when it gets a bit painful. Okay, so we'll go. Ah. Ouch. This is the best we're getting for the leg angle. So I find that the leg is actually the hardest area to do just because it's such a large area and it does take a lot of time. And right now, in terms of my regrowth, I feel like I frequently miss a strip along my shin. But anyway, I'll just show you a little bit if you can even see. There's my leg. Um, so you just work from um, the bottom up. So we'll just hold, and same thing, we're just holding the device and slightly scooting up. And I just go up and down the whole way around my leg. Okay, so now the moment we've been waiting for, I'm going to talk about the results. So this product specifically suggests a 12-week treatment program, which I have completed. Um, and they say after the 12-week program, you should see a significant reduction in hairs within the treated area. Any remaining hairs should be finer and lighter in color. Continued monthly treatments or treatments as required should maintain the reduction in unwanted hair. Um, so I think in total I've done probably at least 20 treatments, but I've at least completed the 12 week program so we can see just my average results. So this is my leg prior to doing any of the IPL. This is one week of growth. As you can see, it's fairly prickly. My hairs are on the darker side. Um, and then for me personally, this wouldn't be hair growth that I would be comfortable with say if I had to like throw on shorts or throw on a skirt this would be something I would be slightly self-conscious with now let's look at my leg after IPL wow that's a big difference that is one week of growth and you can see there on the side of my leg it's almost completely hairless just on the top you can see it's a little prickly still on top of my shin but that's kind of expected. The shin is kind of a rounded area. It's harder to get like the full amount of 
um, light directed to it when you're doing the treatment. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so before, before and after, that's a significant difference. All right, now let's look at my armpits. All right, so these, oh my God. Okay, these are my armpits. This is one week of growth. Um, so as you can see, my armpit hair was quite dark, um, quite dark and prickly. And you can also see there were some, uh, some little, any of those like little red bumps. That's the result of ingrown hairs from shaving. So I used to get a lot of ingrown hairs, my bikini line and on my armpits. Um, and if this is one week of growth, like those little red dots are left over from the previous week of shaving. So um, I really didn't like that. Now let's look at my armpit after doing the IPL. Whoa, okay, this is a huge difference. Wow. <laughs> I'm even surprised and it's my own armpit, but look at that. Okay, so this is my armpit after doing all the IPL that I have been doing. This is one week of growth. That is crazy. Like, as you can see, like other than the center, which I already mentioned was a pretty stubborn part, other than the center, it's almost all gone. Yeah, look at, look at that before and after, wow. That's amazing. I'm I'm really satisfied with that. All right, and then I'm going to talk about my bikini line, which I do not have pictures of because. But I hope you guys believe me, even if I don't have pictures, that the bikini area has been the most effective area in terms of my IPL treatment. Like even prior to completing the 12 week treatment program, I would say almost at four to six weeks, I almost had no hair in the area that I treated. It was ridiculous. Like in the other areas, like my legs and my armpits, there's almost like a thinning process in which like the hair slowly became thinner and then kind of just dissipated. Um, my bikini line has not been like that. It's like there was hair and then I did IPL for like a few weeks and then there wasn't hair. Like the results I've got from the bikini area, if you had told me that I would have had those results, I wouldn't have even second guessed purchasing this thing. Like if you told me in like 12 weeks you will have no hair in the treated bikini area, I would have been sold. That That's really impressive to me. All right, so those are my results. So now you're probably wondering like, you know, is this device worth my money? Is it worth my time? Is it better than in-clinic lasers? From my personal experience, I would answer yes to all of those questions. Like I purchased this for what? $349. If I had been going to an in-salon laser for the amount of time that I've been using this, based on the prices from my favorite salon, if I had 12 treatments, on my underarms, my bikini line, and my legs, I think that would be like upwards of $2,000. I don't know, I'll do the math here and you can see. Right, so this is a crazy investment compared to that. $349 and I can continue using this. I can use it whenever I want, how much I want. And as you've seen, it brought me super good positive results okay so that's the end of this review i hope it was helpful to you if you're looking for alternative forms of hair removal if you're considering buying an ipl device i hope i maybe convinced you to buy the brawn ipl device um and if not you know i hope this video was informative to you if it wasn't well you saw my armpit <laughs>